Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over Crayola's glitter crayons. So this is part two out of six of six different videos I'm making. Last week, I did pearl crayons and um, next week I'm doing neon crayons. So I hope you guys enjoy those. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for those videos. Anyway, let's get into the review. Okay guys, so this is how they look. So on the front it says glitter crayons, there's 24 in the box I got, and on the Crayola website I think they retail for about $3.49. So um, they come with 24, they're non-toxic. So at the front of the box they just say glitter crayons, and I love this little glittery detail they put on the box because it just really represents the crayons. And also their wrappers are different for their like, I guess special crayons, which I really like because I think it just adds a different vibe to them. Okay. Um, on the back it gives you a little overview of like what they're supposed to do. So it says glitter crayons, colorful and sparkly Crayola glitter crayons let kids add dazzle to their coloring with glitter infused in the crayon wax, no mass creative glitter play. So this is supposed to have glitter inside of the crayons and it's supposed to not be messy. So let's just dive in and see what happens. And also I didn't mention this before but on this part they show you all the colors that are available. Okay, and I just want to quickly say, guys, um, my last video when I did the pearl crayons, I did it both on white paper and on cardboard. But I'm not going to be doing this, this this time because I don't think it's a fair review when I'm doing it on cardboard when I'm pretty sure it's supposed to show up on black paper. And sadly, I don't have any black paper, so we're just going to really have to deal with it. And I hope doing it on this paper is good enough for you guys. Okay, so I just started off by labeling... Um, the top of my page glitter crayons because i'm thinking um when i'm finished reviewing all the crayons i'll just make a final video where i just i guess go over all of them and show the differences in case somebody doesn't want to watch all the videos so i actually already went ahead and swatched one of the colors um so this the one i swatched was um this one it's called flamingo flame and i just want to quickly show you guys on the tip this is how it looks so I don't know if you guys can see it that well on the camera, but there's, you can see the glitter on the crayon. It's not like abundantly noticeable. Like when I first look at the crayon, it'd be hard to notice, but when I like stare at it, I can see the glitter, which I think is really cool because they look pretty, really pretty. And I really love this wrapper. Like I just love this color scheme. Um, so yeah, I already swatched it and I'm going to bring you guys closer so you guys can see what I did. Okay. So this is how it looks. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see it at all on camera, the glitter, but it's definitely there. Like those white dots are the glitter. There's some specks. It's really hard to see. Um, it's not abundantly there. Like when I zoom in on the camera, I can see it way better than I can in real life. Um, like it's really hard to notice. Like if I was coloring with it and I just finished the coloring and I gave it to somebody, somebody they probably wouldn't be able to tell. But then again, this is for kids and it's not supposed to be messy. So I kind of understand that. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the other colors.
Okay, so um, I just want to go over a few notes now that I'm finished washing all the colors. So I think um, the names are, I guess they make sense. Like they follow a theme, like the pearl crowns, for example, sun shower would make sense, I guess, because there's like bits of, bit of, bits of glitter in it. Same thing with golden dust, um, diamond days, I guess, kind of, black gold, chocolate sprinkles. It follows um, a sort of, uh, sorry, a sort of um, theme, which I like. So out of these, my favorite names are 100% Wild and Wasabi. It's just amazing. Don't fight me on that. It's true. Black Gold, I think, is an interesting name since it looks pretty black to me. Um, Yeah, those are two, two of my favorites. And then Notes, Um, as you can probably see on camera, you can't really see the glitter that much. I mean, it, of course, it's a few st specks here and there, but... I can't really, like, when I was doing it, I realized halfway through that I'm doing glitter crayons and not normal crayons, which just doesn't work for me. The one I can actually see it the most in is, ironically, the white one or diamond dazzle because I think the glitters are different colors, but it's not, they're, like, green glitter, and it doesn't look that good. I'm not gonna lie. I, it, in my opinion, it doesn't look that good. But something about the crayons is that once you color with them, um, you can, like, see the glitter in the tip. So, like, if I move here to my box of crayons, like, look at that. And now the glitter is very apparent. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to switch the angle and give you guys my final thoughts. Mm, so, my final thoughts for this is I think this batch of crayons really are not the best. You can't see the glitter. It's like you're coloring no with normal crayons. I mean... I get that this is for kids, but if you're actually buying it to color or to see glitter, it's not for you. Um, our, the pearl crayons, I didn't notice much of a difference either, but they were like, when you were coloring, you could feel it. And you could feel the difference, and for coloring, it was pretty good. But these ones just aren't it. Um, also, when I was coloring, I forgot to say, it felt a bit rough, and it wasn't as like smooth. So, I don't like that. Out of 10, I would probably rate this like a 5.5. 5.5 to 6 because the only reason I'm rating it that high is because their names are pretty cool, um, their colors are nice, their general idea and layout is nice. It just wasn't executed properly and that's just what bothers me. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. That would really mean the world to me. Um, I also wanted to put a little disclaimer out there that this video is in no way supposed to um, shade Crayola or is hate against Crayola. Um, this was just my honest opinions about how I felt because I never want to lie to you guys. Um, also, this is part two out of six of um, six videos I'm doing about these crayons. So stay tuned for the other ones and thank you guys for watching.